Hi everyone! Today on Doodle Desk, we're going to be making the piranha plant from Mario. It's super easy and everything we're using, I found at the dollar store. Let's start by painting the easel black. Take the easel apart so I can paint it more easily. Let's take our blue paint and paint the entire canvas blue. Once the blue is completely dry, we're going to use our white paint to block out where the plant will be and the pipe. For the shape of the pipe, it's a rectangle with another rectangle on top to look like an upside down top hat. And make a thick line going straight up from the middle. Make two curved lines at the bottom of the stem. Now to make the head of the plant, we're going to draw two curved lines looking like a wide U. At the top of the wide U, we're going to make two crescents facing inwards. These crescents are going to create the lips of the piranha plant. When the crescents are done, now we can connect them with two lines making a V inside the U. Three pointy triangles on top to make the teeth. You will need to mix three shades of green. A dark green, light green, and medium green. Start with yellow. Add little bits of blue until it's perfect. Paint the pipe and plant all medium green. Create shading with the dark green. Use two strips of light green to give that pipe a circular look. Now on top of the leaves, and use a clean brush to blend, blend, blend. Now we're going to paint the head of the plant bright red. Outline the lips in a light gray, but not the teeth. Oh, I made my spots too early. I need to use dark red to shade the plant. Using a small pointed paintbrush, I'm going to outline my piranha plant in black. Let's show off those teeth and really make our plant stand out. Using a brush can be tricky to make these fine lines. You could try using an acrylic paint pen if you have one, or ask your parents if you can use a permanent marker. I'm going to use light blue to help the plant pop out from the background. What's great about these paints is that if you make a mistake, it's no problem. Just let your painting completely dry and you can come back and cover your mistake.
Okay, let's try and make those dots again. I'm going to use pure white and the back of my paintbrush to pinpoint where I want each dot to lay on the head of the plant. Now, slowly, I will make each dot bigger until they look exactly the way I want them. Wow, and now I'm done. Come back next Friday for more Doodle Desk How to Art. Thanks everybody, bye.